Wildfire. We'll look at wildfire concepts, configuring and managing wildfire, and wildfire reporting. In order to provide the most robust network security model possible, the Palo Alto Networks firewall enables granular control over network traffic. Beyond only allowing or denying traffic based on source, destination, and port information, the firewall can examine allowed traffic for specific threats, including viruses, spyware, and software designed to exploit operating system and application vulnerabilities. Traffic also can be scanned for prohibited actions, such as the distribution of sensitive data. For more information about the packet handling sequence inside of a PanOS device, see the Packet Flow Sequence in PanOS document, available on the Palo Alto Network's support website. Wildfire Concepts The flowchart provides an overview of how a firewall works with wildfire technology. When the firewall encounters a file, it will check to see if the file is signed by a trusted signer. If the answer is yes, then the firewall trusts that the file does not have hidden malware and allows the file to be delivered. If the answer is no, then the firewall creates a hash number for the file and uses the hash to work with wildfire to determine if the file already has been sent to wildfire. If the file has been sent to wildfire, then the previous verdict is used by the firewall. If the file has not been previously sent to wildfire, then the firewall determines if the file size is less than the maximum firewall to wildfire transmission size configured on the firewall. If the file exceeds the maximum size, then the firewall allows the file to be delivered and the file is not sent to wildfire. If the file size is less than the configured maximum, then the file is sent to Wildfire for analysis. Wildfire analyzes the file and generates a verdict. The firewall is informed of the verdict. Wildfire then updates its file list and generates a malware signature. The signature is made available within minutes to Wildfire licensed firewalls around the world. Unlicensed firewalls can retrieve the new signature within 24 to 48 hours through normally scheduled content updates. Here is a list of wildfire analysis verdicts. These verdicts appear in the Web UI Wildfire Submissions log and in the Wildfire portal described later in this module. Click the tabs to see a more detailed explanation of each verdict. A benign verdict is given by wildfire to files or URLs that have been found to be safe and pose no threat to your organization. The wildfire grayware verdict was introduced in PanOS 7.0 to clearly identify executables that behave similarly to malware but are not malicious in nature or intent. The verdict enables a security incident responder to quickly distinguish grayware from malicious files and to prioritize accordingly. Though antivirus signatures are not generated for grayware, you can configure your firewall to log grayware events to assess if such events warrant further action. A malware verdict indicates that wildfire has determined the file or URL is malicious in nature and intent and can pose a security threat to your organization. If a current signature does not exist, Wildfire will create one and make it available to firewalls around the world. Wildfire will also update the PanDB URL filtering database with malicious URLs. Beginning with PanOS 8.0, a new wildfire verdict of phishing classifies phishing links found in emails separately from emailed links found to be exploits or malware. When the firewall detects an unknown link in an email, it forwards the link to wildfire for analysis. Wildfire classifies the link as phishing based on properties and behaviors that the accompanying website displays and Palo Alto Network's security researchers also manually review certain links to check for phishing activity. Phishing links are added to the PanDB database and used to block future phishing attacks. The firewall sends email with attachments or URL links to Wildfire for analysis. 
Neither the firewall nor wildfire stores or enables the viewing of email contents. When wildfire detects a malicious file, it immediately creates a new antivirus signature that can be downloaded in minutes by Palo Alto Network's firewalls around the world. This new antivirus signature can help to prevent further compromise of other machines in your network and around the world. If Wildfire determines that a URL link included in the email is malicious, it quickly updates the antivirus and the PANDB database to prevent further compromise of other hosts around the world. If the URL link was found to be specifically a phishing website, the URL is added to the URL phishing category in the PANDB database. If you have a Wildfire and PANDB license, your firewall can block access to newly discovered malware and phishing sites in as little as 5 to 10 minutes. If Wildfire determines that a file attachment or URL link is malicious, it includes the email header information in the Wildfire submissions log that it returns to the firewall. If user ID technology is enabled, you can use the log information to quickly find and remediate the threats received by your users. If user ID matches a name in the wildfire log, the log's email header section contains a link. If you click the link, the ACC tab opens, filtered by the user or group of users. Wildfire analysis is used to create new antivirus signatures. It also is used to update the URLs and URL categories listed in the PANDB URL filtering database. Antivirus signatures are made available within 24 to 48 hours as content updates to the antivirus content database. You can schedule daily downloads of the antivirus content database. Firewall access to the antivirus content database is enabled by a threat prevention license. Antivirus signatures are also made available within five minutes as content updates to the Wildfire Signatures content database on the firewall. You can schedule a firewall to check for new Wildfire antivirus signatures in intervals as short as every minute. Firewall access to the Wildfire antivirus signatures is enabled by a Wildfire license. URL updates are made available within five minutes as content updates to the PANDB URL filtering database. You don't need to schedule PANDB downloads because new URL information is dynamically downloaded by the firewall as needed. Firewall access to the PANDB URL filtering database is enabled by a URL filtering license. There are two types of usage services available on the Wildfire platform, Standard Subscription Service and Wildfire Licensed Service. Every type of Palo Alto Network's firewall with a threat prevention license running PanOS 4.1 or later has access to the standard Wildfire subscription service. The standard subscription service includes file and URL analysis on Windows XP and Windows 7 virtual machines. The standard service enables firewalls to automatically submit unknown Windows Portable Executable or PE files for analysis. Windows PE file types include EXE, DLL, SCR, FON, and others. New signatures and protections are made available daily to the firewalls through the normal dynamic content updates. Palo Alto Network's firewalls with a wildfire license are entitled to the standard subscription features and additional features. More file types may be submitted by a firewall for analysis. Additional file types are Microsoft Office files, PDF files, Java JAR and class files, 
Adobe Flash SWF and SWC files, and Android APK files. Flash files or Flash content embedded in web pages is analyzed. The Mac OS X, Mach O, DMG, and PKG files also are supported. Wildfire can create new signatures every five minutes. Wildfire licensed firewalls have access to those signatures, which enables near real-time protection against the latest threats detected anywhere in the world. The five-minute wildfire content update time applies to PanOS 7.1 and later. In previous versions, the content update time was 15 minutes. There are two different content package formats for wildfire content updates. Content packages for 7.1 and later and content packages for 7.0 and earlier. These content packages contain the same set of signatures. A license also enables users to programmatically submit files for analysis to Wildfire using the Wildfire XML API. For more information about the Wildfire XML API, see the Wildfire API reference guide at www.paloaltonetworks.com slash documentation. A wildfire license entitles a firewall to use the WF500 appliance as a wildfire private cloud service. The WF500 appliance is a wildfire private cloud solution. It supports a Windows 7 virtual environment and requires that you install a Windows 7 64-bit image on the appliance. The WF500 appliance analyzes files forwarded from your Palo Alto Network's firewalls or from the Wildfire API. Beginning with Pan OS 6.1, the WF500 appliance can generate signatures locally and categorize URLs. Benign and grayware files that it analyzes never leave your network. By default, the WF500 appliance never sends malware files outside of your network. However, you can choose to automatically forward malware files to the Wildfire Public Cloud for signature generation. In this case, the Wildfire Public Cloud reanalyzes the file, generates a signature to identify the malware, and distributes the signature worldwide. You also can choose to send a malware report, but not the actual file. The WF500 appliance supports the Wildfire XML API. For more information about the Wildfire XML API, see the Wildfire API Reference Guide at paloaltonetworks.com slash documentation. The WF500 appliance does not support the phishing verdict. Any email URL link discovered with malicious or phishing properties is given a verdict of malware. Daily content updates for the WF500 appliance provide additional cloud intelligence, which provides more accurate results. The content updates help improve WF500 analysis accuracy by providing daily updates to trusted code signing certificates, malware domain lists, new signatures, and other useful information. Just as with firewall content packages, you can configure automatic download and installation of the WF500 content packages, or you can manually download and install the content packages. Content updates can be installed directly from an internet connection or through another host with an internet connection. A hybrid cloud combines the public and private cloud solutions. If you use a WF500 appliance, you can configure a wildfire hybrid cloud that enables the WF500 to analyze sensitive file types locally, while other less sensitive file types, such as PE files, are forwarded to the wildfire public cloud. You can also forward file types that are not supported on the WF500, such as APK files, to the wildfire public cloud. If the public and private cloud solutions are used together, the private cloud analysis prevails when overlapping configurations exist. Configuring and Managing Wildfire Use Device, Setup, Wildfire to configure Wildfire settings on the firewall. 
By default, the Wildfire public server setting is configured with the URL value wildfire.paloaltonetworks.com, which is the global wildfire cloud. Other URL values also are available in other geographies to satisfy performance and data locality requirements. For Europe, use the URL value eu.wildfire.paloaltonetworks.com. Data submitted to the European Wildfire Cloud is never forwarded to the Global Wildfire Cloud in the United States. For Japan, use the value wildfire.paloaltonetworks.jp. Only malicious files submitted to the Japanese Wildfire Cloud are forwarded to the Global Wildfire Cloud. If you have configured a WF500 private cloud appliance, enter its IP address or domain name as the value for Wildfire Private Cloud. You can also configure size limits for files forwarded to Wildfire for analysis. The default size limits can vary by Pan OS version and the firewall model. Files larger than the specified size will not be sent to Wildfire. The Report Benign Files and Report Grayware Files checkboxes are not enabled by default. If you enable them, then Wildfire includes analyzed benign and grayware files in the report it returns to the firewall. A report appears as an entry in the Wildfire Submissions Log. Even if these two options are enabled, Wildfire will not report back to the firewall benign or grayware URLs analyzed within email because the size of these reports could be prohibitively large. If you have configured SSL or SSH decryption, the firewall will not forward any decrypted content to Wildfire for analysis until you enable the Allow Forwarding of Decrypted Content option at Device, Setup, Content ID, Content ID Settings. The Session Information Settings options specify which types of session information are sent to Wildfire. All options are selected by default. Because this information is submitted to Wildfire, Wildfire can include this information in the report that it returns to the firewall, which means that this information is available in the firewall's Wildfire Submissions Log or in the Wildfire Portal. Wildfire analysis profiles are objects that are added to security policy rules that are configured with an action of Allow. Wildfire analysis profiles are not necessary for security policy rules configured with the Deny action because no further processing is needed if the network traffic will be blocked. As with security policy rules, wildfire analysis profiles are applied to all packets over the life of a session. The wildfire analysis profiles represent additional security checks to be performed on files in allowed network traffic. Wildfire analysis profiles enable you to have more granular control over allowed traffic. For example, you can configure a firewall to submit files to wildfire only when they match specific file types and are transferred in a specific direction by a specific application. The files submitted to Wildfire are logged to the log found at Monitor, Logs, Wildfire Submissions. A Palo Alto Networks firewall includes a predefined, read-only, default Wildfire Analysis Profile. If the default profile is assigned to a security policy rule, then the profile sends all unknown files from any applications allowed by the rule to the Wildfire Public Cloud for analysis. Beginning with Pan OS 8.0, blocked files are also submitted to Wildfire. To create a customized Wildfire Analysis Profile, clone the default profile and edit the clone. Or you can create a new Wildfire Analysis Profile. Use customized Wildfire Analysis Profiles to minimize the number of files analyzed by Wildfire between more trusted zones or maximize the number of files analyzed between less trusted zones. In a zero-trust configuration, no zone is completely trusted. Use a Wildfire Analysis Profile to specify which application file types to send to Wildfire for analysis. You can specify which traffic to forward to a Wildfire public or private cloud based on application, 
file type, and transmission direction. In the example, APK files being transferred in any direction are sent to the Wildfire Public Cloud for analysis because they cannot be analyzed by a Wildfire Private Cloud. The Flash, JAR, and PE files being transferred are sent to the Wildfire Public Cloud because they typically do not contain any private information. The profile also ensures that any URL links found in email are analyzed by the Wildfire Public Cloud. The first two rules could have been combined without affecting wildfire operation. In some instances, an organization might determine that its Microsoft documents or PDFs might have sensitive information that the organization does not want forwarded to the public cloud. In the example, the MS Office and PDF files are sent to a wildfire private cloud in order to keep these files securely in the local network. To assign a wildfire analysis profile to a security policy rule, select Profiles as the profile type, and then add the wildfire analysis profile you created. You also can add a wildfire analysis profile to a security profile group. If the profile is part of a group, select Group for the profile type, and then add the name of the group. Note, if a file type is matched in the file blocking profile and wildfire analysis profile, and if the file blocking profile action is set to block, then the file is not forwarded to wildfire. Any new Wildfire antivirus signatures created by Wildfire are available for download from Wildfire within 5 to 10 minutes. If you have a Wildfire license, you can configure how frequently you want your firewall to pull Wildfire for new antivirus signatures. The example shows that you can configure your firewall to pull as often as every minute. If you do not have a Wildfire license, your firewall still can access the new antivirus signatures developed by Wildfire. Wildfire transfers any new antivirus signatures to the antivirus content package within 24 to 48 hours. You can configure your firewall to download the antivirus content package daily. Wildfire Reporting Anytime that Wildfire Technology analyzes a file or URL link, it reports its findings back to the firewall. You can configure both the types of information submitted to Wildfire and the amount of information that is returned to the firewall in the report. Information reported back to the firewall is recorded by the firewall in the Wildfire Submissions Log. To verify successful file upload to Wildfire, use the CLI and enter the command debug wildfire upload log show. The output from the command should display something similar in format to what is shown in the example. Notice the status upload success and the name of the file, which in the example is wildfire test pe file.exe. This information confirms that the file was uploaded to the Wildfire Public Cloud. Files that contain malware always should be reported in the Wildfire Submissions Log. Benign files or files that contain grayware might be reported in the Wildfire Submissions Log, depending on how you have configured your firewall. The Wildfire Verdict is reported in the Verdict column. Your configuration of the firewall's wildfire settings will determine whether information is available in many of the columns. To display a detailed report about a submitted file, click the magnifying glass icon to the left of a log entry. The detailed log view window opens for that entry. Click the Wildfire Analysis Report tab to display the details of the analysis by the wildfire technology. Use the log entry in the wildfire analysis to see which users were targeted, the applications that were used, and the malicious behavior that was observed. To print the analysis, click Download PDF and print the PDF document. The PDF includes a detailed timeline of the actions taken by the malware. 
Results of the detailed analysis of the submitted files are available through the Wildfire Portal. To access the Wildfire Portal, go to wildfire.paloaltonetworks.com and log in using your Palo Alto Networks support credentials or your Wildfire account. The browser opens to display the dashboard, which lists summary information for all of the firewalls associated with your Wildfire account or support account. The display includes the number of files that were found to be associated with malware, grayware, or phishing, or were found to be benign. The dashboard also reports summary information for the files that were submitted manually by a user using the Wildfire XML API. To display only the list of file submissions associated with a specific firewall, click a firewall's serial number. The reports page will open, but the list of submissions on the page will be filtered to include only those files submitted by that firewall. You also can use the Wildfire portal and click Upload Sample to manually upload one or more files for analysis. You can either directly upload the file to Wildfire or specify a URL for the file. To display the entire list of submitted files, click the Reports button at the top of the Wildfire portal. Search filter options are available at the top of the page to allow you to limit the number of submitted files that are displayed. The portal includes pagination controls if the number of entries exceeds the size of the page. To display an analysis report for an individual file, click the Details icon to the left of the file name. Use the Wildfire portal to see which users were targeted, the applications that were used, and the malicious behavior that was observed. The Wildfire portal also can be configured to send email notifications when results are available for review. To configure email settings, click Settings in the portal. To print a detailed report, use the Print option on your browser. You also can request a new verdict using the Wildfire portal. Click the Details icon next to a Wildfire report. Scroll down in the browser page that opens and click the Report an Incorrect Verdict link. In the window that opens, add the information to the fields in the form and click Submit.